another day of extreme nothingness and an extreme wind. It's just not going a day away. It's not going away once a day. Addiction. There you go. The addiction is not going away every day. I think it is. But while I'm getting away from one addiction, I'm getting away with a different one, right? I'm trying not to do one. I'm getting very frustrated that this one, it's not pleasurable. The mix of nicotine, THC, and CBD isn't working anymore, no matter how different I combine it. Just certain tastes better. This tastes like crap and it will not stay lit. but it's super cheap. That brings me to the channel members when we were trying to do Santa Barbara on a budget of $20. <coughs> I know, I'm letting you all laugh. Mm. Impossible, right? And then we kind of, we go, okay, how about $35? And then we went to $44. And what have we figured here? If we want to just hang out here next to the go-kart stand and the baseball batting bat arena, hang out in the parking lot like we've been doing in order to keep the phone working so we can keep doing this or talking to someone or emailing somebody or getting a notification from YouTube saying we took down that last video. We've been trying to put up one video now for the past, how long has it been? How long have we been here? It's been hours. And each time, mm, I'm happy. It's a live stream issue. Happens with Streamlabs. That's a company. Experimental streaming they called it. It's free. Yeah, but you pay in other ways. Yeah, money-wise it's free. But yeah, get on their prime program. Invest two years. You have to be up front and give them the money. This free money up front and maybe you'll get paid in cryptocurrency. Are you hearing me? It's a franchise. The food pyramid, the, the chain, the chain mail, gold dust woman, the chain, isn't that Fleetwood Mac again? Chain, keep us together. I'm walking in the shadows. Chain, is that it? Chain is gonna keep us together. This whole two years, I've been saying I'm not being clean with my exes. I've been collecting Kleenexes. Dirty ones. Yeah, that's DNA. Private eye style. I had to take on this private eye. Thomas Grant, an old man in Lompo. And I had to take him down, this old man, poor old man. After moving his CPAP machine for him across a deserted Santa Barbara airport that got re paved COVID style. They said it was cleaning it, but they were cleaning up that it was even there, that airport. Poof. There was an airport here in this Santa Barbara land of the newlyweds 
and the nearly dead. All right, we've made it to which status? What is that? I threw up at that first performance of that. What was that show? You had to go to the movie theaters. Everyone had to dress up. Everyone was saying, damn it, Janet, and throwing rice at the screen. It was a horror, a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh my God, it's bringing it back. All right, there was this girl. I did not know of this thing back then that girls pretend that they just want to be friends when they want a lot more. So I was too young to understand this. I must have been like 11, right? I'm 11 going on 12, right? But really going on 13 and 13 is where my life went. Whoa, downhill. In so many ways, we'll get into that. That might be in this movie, I don't know. 603, it's not gonna be in this movie. They just contacted me through my head. Those of you playing the movie know that I've had some sort of operation. And there's devices in my ears that make things loud. I hear things other people don't hear. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Da, na, na, na. Dun, 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 dun. What's Jamie saying about me? <gasps> Jamie's like looking at me. Do, 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 do. What are you feeling right now? Do, 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 do. The six million dollar man, the six million dollar woman. And for one episode, they got together. One. And why? These are the questions that somebody asked me in the comments. Why? Let's go directly to that question. Why? Well, because there was a supervillain that showed up with not just one ear fantastic, two ears fantastic, not just one bionic arm with a hand, like two, and one of them is tattooed like, whoa. Badass. Tattoos of memories that have been lost, right, in this experiment. Are you hearing me? This doctor every morning wakes up thinking he's been getting all drunk. How did this move there? I need order in life. I need some plot it. I need some plot it and fast. back to the story. So this girl turns out she was probably a little older than me. I believe she was because she could drive. And she picked me up where I was with my boys, right? My friends, my buddies, where we did a thing where we'd hang around my place where there was nobody home and I would show them my daddy's gun, porno, questionable black label collection of imported bottles, let's just say of bukkake. Just way too wicked for that age. If I ever catch something like that on the internet and it's way tame on the internet, even now, a seasoned, a seasoned uh, life and SEX. And this brings me to the question. I, I, I get a LA Times, right? And I have a whole stack of them. And we backed up and we pulled one out, especially for Marilyn Manson, right? We asked him which one and he picked the right number and we picked it out. And we, it was the LA Times of, God, what was it? 2003, I think, something like that. And it's the uh, crossword puzzle. And that's, that's our shtick. It was, but that's what we used to do, is have, this will be your crossword. Can you get it right? You will win this prize. So he's on the phone and it's his turn and it's a three letter word for pain. 
And he replied, it was pretty close. S-E-X. Sex. But it wasn't. At 10.13, I dramatically said, it wasn't. It turned out the answer was S and M. An analogy, an anagram, an aneurysm. What's coming up here, wasn't it on this side? It's, it's popping. Like, alien's gonna pop out. Now, an alien, I saw the first alien. I'm bringing you this girl. We'll bring her along. She was a cute little 16-year-old, I suppose, back then. It's in the 70s. If she's driving, she must have been at least 16. So I'm 11 going on 13, right? And um, I've been drinking with the buddies. Um, and... She shows up and is like, don't you remember? You said you were going to go to this movie with me, right? This is the first time I learn about women are not clean with you. She never said. She never asked. She later told me. No, 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 I was just hoping, you know, you just go along with it. You know, they dreamed. She dreamed about it for weeks, how I was going to be. Yikes. Because she only saw me now and then riding a unicycle right with a cello strapped to my back listening to ah werewolves of london right oh wow what it must be 77 right we're getting closer warren zevon's in the headphones it's a walkman we're coming back the walkman but not the sony i could never afford that my friend had the only sony walkman in town I got a thing called the Technodyne. It turned out to be much more robust than my friends. His kept breaking down every time he walked. I, on the other hand, was able to strap that sucker, duct tape it together when it would break up, re-listen to Ah Whale Worlds London. And a thing that they had, these Technodynes that were so cheap, but the only other brand against this Walkman. Well, first of all, they came, their headphones were just these high-tech, sharper image, we would call them, these headphones. They just looked gnarly. And they worked gnarly. Now, the Sonys were more dainty, and they probably had a better sound quality. But they weren't thinking about, hey, we're not going to just be walking. We're going to be riding a bike. There's, do you know how much noise in the street? Do you know how I'm going to be blasting this thing? The sound quality, you know, the thing should be able to be really robust and strong. Not robust like a computer who might have a lot of memory. No, just that the thing will take high temperatures, low temperatures, destruction and still get the job done, which is listening. You just want to hear it the way it was supposed to sound. And that was cassette. An album recorded onto a cassette. If you listened it through a Walkman, it was beauty. It doesn't matter what it says on the numbers. The art of the magnetical part, that there is no magnetics in a computer. You want to keep it away from the static. This thing is dying for statics and waves. Computer doesn't want these waves. It wants to shove it into a box, zero, one, zero, one. The Walkman was like, yeah, I will adjust. If you want to crank the levels, if you recorded it in the red, it's still going to sound badass. It's not going to sound bad. It's not going to cut off and die. Well, his Walkman would die because of certain things, and he'd be stuck waiting for them to return it. You know, warranty would work forever, Sony Walkmans. They were awesome for that. But while he was waiting, mine had a special thing where I could just give him another headphones. There was a second jack for a friend. And as he's waiting for this other Walkman to arrive, and they're giving him a hard time and saying, oh, the Technodynes, those are shitty. He's realizing, like, dude, you could share this... We don't have to be like 
that's awesome. Like I before I had to like pass you half of the headphones or we'd have to share this Walkman experience, but there we can do it this way. And it's cheaper and it's stronger and it doesn't come in a silly looking case. It comes in this badass, badass, badass thing. You could put mace in there with it, with some extra cassettes, some head cleaner. If you know what I mean, this pouch, this hip replacement, this colonoscopy bag on your hip, like you're a Western, I don't know, half, half heavy on one side for riding a bike as a kid. It was a little, gets in the way that, but the headphones never broke. And one day, this is what the important. We'll get back to that girl. You'll. That, it ended badly. I drank too much. I threw up over the side of her car. She drove the whole way, going, "Oh my God, who is this person?" But let me go to when she knew me before the alcohol hit. I was driving home from school on my bicycle, going as fast as I can, listening to "Ah Werewolves of London," right? Warren Zevon after he had gone to Stravinsky's house when he was 13. So I must have been 13. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm 13. War, war, I'm just riding the bike listening to uh, ooh, werewolves. Learning. Warren Zevon, what was he doing at 13? He's at Stravinsky's learning how to write uh, ooh, werewolves. Alone. Where did he get that from Stravinsky's teachings? Warren, he's still explaining to me through this Ouija board. We will in that hotel room, motel. In that motel room that I keep calling a hotel for the final scene. So much will be happening. It's going to be busy. We're going to be doing the cast party on the same night. Oh, that's right. On the same night of the last scene. Oh my God. We might even start early and just let the scene unravel itself naturally. Can you imagine the crew at this motel when we show up? And like we're at Slab City. I have to tell you, at 1733, I was supposed to tell you that we will be going to Slab City. I'm breaking out a character. Hi, my name is Misha Bodnar. I am a cellist. I live in Santa Barbara, but I'm trying to get out of here. I've been living here since 1969. I'm 65, no, I'm 55. Ugh, I don't know how old I am. I think I'm, I act like a 53 year old. I have flashes though, these heat flashes that a subscriber said, turn it into heat flushes. And that's what made me go Brazilian wax. A little bit of a flushing. Maybe they'll use some coffee. Do you understand what direction I went? All to try to fix this. Now this in the movie, it's gonna be an alien. The alien creature will come out. That's why there's always these hand motions or shadows that remind us in the WTF. I'm, I'm back to the WTF experiment, movie happening here. Shh. Don't talk about it. Now I've forgotten what I said. It's too long. The, it's a great title, but it's too long because I can't, every time I'm gonna say the WTF is happening here, experiment, no, is happening here, shh, don't talk about it, experiment. And I'm gonna say like, what were we talking about? I won't talk, oh, alien, I'm reminded, it's, it's popping. So I'm gonna redo the scene, but it's gonna happen here. It's gonna be small, it's gonna be very close up, it's gonna be 4K. We will have a badass Leica lens on this. Probably just one shot, like, um, like Scorsese's uh, student film about shaving. Yeah, black and white. He did it all psycho style, right? With the blood going down the sink as his parents are going, we just said cut your hair. And he's like, 
They told me to cut my hair. Scorsese's first movie and he's shaving. Oh my God. It's so symbolic. When was the last time you seen him shave? Right? Yeah, we were always, as students, he'd walk in the room just to take attendance and we would be like, And then I, one of us would come up, hey, I just saw your student film. And he'd always be like, ah, why are you going to talk to me about that again? They're going to talk to me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to explain everything I was going through at that time. Why? I want to know why. I'll tell you why. Oh, I love this guy. And we sit down and we know. We pull out our cameras and we just say, yeah, teacher, what? He goes, I tell you what it was. My mama. My mama. I say, you're going to be in the movie. Papa doesn't have to be. He signed something. I did not know about the lawyer or cult things that he's gone through. Mama, just give me some more. Basta. Then he's typing. He typed all the time. So he's typing, and then he's like, Mama, you have to be in the shaving scene. They want me to do a one scene, one camera shot of me shaving and make it psycho bloody like I'm bloody Hitchcock. That guy. That guy. It's that guy. White van. The hat, the glasses, he's looking over, he's doing the Vulcan sign. Yeah, buddy, yeah. When I was younger, I was more invisible. I like that. Something happened. And now I can't go in anywhere without it being like, what'd you do? What'd you do? You're not supposed to be here. Like the man who came at me, the citizen, he's gonna do a citizen's arrest because Marilyn Manson's car, the registration's out. The guy's gonna do that to me. And he says to me, senor, what are you doing here, senor? And then he asks me, what's your name, senor? And I said, Lord, do you want me to spell it for you? L-O-R. And he said, if you're going to joke. And I said, no, let me write it down. It's on my license. It's on my registration. Let me show you where my car is. It's right over here. Come. Come with me, old man. Tough guy. And also he doesn't want to. And like this guy. Just like this guy. He runs away. Yeah. See? He's watching this live. We know who's watching it live, buddy. This isn't going out live, is it? How is this then? How, what is he seeing? This is like the... Um, this is like... This is like just last year. This is... We're having a deja vu. We're in that zone. This is the one parking spot. If we back it up at a certain speed, not looking, not stopping, as long as the transformer is doing its thing, we have to do it blind with the special hat, welder's hat. Strapped in, the right speed, Stick it in reverse. This was a weird, this new car. You have to lift it up and go up to the right or 
down like the VWs. I don't want to make that mistake because we will go the other way and what would happen? Don't know. I don't want to do the unknown. I want, it will work if I just don't chicken out and I pump it and when the dials are all of those dials in that luxury vehicle that they are not giving to me. Why do they wait another day? What are they up to? Yeah, paranoia. Brought on by the WTF experiment. Have you not heard of that? Yo, PDSD, where did that come from? WTF. The SATs that it turns out that it psychologically screws you up for life. Where did that come from? WTF. Let the Lord kick yo Landy's butt in front of a million people. Priceless, huh?